Hey guys, this is Josh here from Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to bring you an identification video on the Jerusalem artichoke. This lovely little yellow flower that we're looking at is the Jerusalem artichoke. This is an extremely popular plant, and this plant has been used for centuries for food and medicine. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at some of its identification features. One of the first things you're going to notice about the Jerusalem artichoke is these very, very beautiful yellow ray-like flowers. Whenever you look at these flowers, if you count the petals, you're going to notice anywhere from 11 to 15. Most of the ones I found though have 13 petals, and I really like that fact of this plant because 13 is my favorite number. So this is a really interesting thing of this plant, at least for me personally. If we take a little bit of a step back from the one that we were looking at, we're going to notice several more of these Jerusalem artichokes growing right next to each other. And that is extremely typical of this plant. They normally grow in colonies or large clusters like this. Normally you're going to be finding this plant in fields and clearings. However, I got really lucky and I found this one at the edge of a parking lot to one of my favorite hiking locations. Jerusalem artichoke is one of the largest sunflowers native here to the United States. You can tell this flower is actually quite large. It's basically about the size of my entire hand. So these flowers can get quite large. And if we look closely at these petals, we'll notice these kind of indentations, kind of striating uh, basically vertically all the way through these petals. This plant typically flowers anywhere from August all the way through October. So that could be a little earlier or a little later, depending on where you're at, but that's a general gist. Right now it is the middle of September and we can see these very nice, lovely flowers right here. Now let's take a look at its stem and its leaves. The stem of the Jerusalem artichoke is rather rough and hairy, just like we can see here. Whenever you rub it, it feels like really rough, gritty sandpaper. That's also extremely hairy. These hairs are rather stiff. They do not poke or sting in any way, so it's totally safe to touch, but it is extremely rough and hairy. And there are several other native sunflowers that can resemble the Jerusalem artichoke, but this rough, hairy, coarse stem is one of the discerning features of this plant from some of the other native sunflowers that we have. If we go a little lower on the plant, we're going to notice that the leaves are often going to be growing in an opposite pattern. As we can see here, they're growing on opposite sides of the stem. And if we look at the leaf stalks here, we're going to notice that they are winged at the base or at the petiole where they join the main stem of the plant. Now these leaf stalks, as you can see, also have these nice little hairs and they're also very, very rough and coarse. Again, feeling like very rough sandpaper. However, as we go up the plant, we're going to notice that the leaves will actually start to alternate we can see this leaf here and we can see this leaf coming out right here. So at the very top of the plant, you're going to notice an alternating leaf pattern. And then towards the bottom, you're going to notice that opposite leaf, leafing pattern. And then once you get towards the very bottom of the plant, closer to the ground, you're going to notice how the leaves will actually come out in sort of whorls of three. As we can see here with these three little leaflets towards the back of the main stem of the plant and this larger leaf growing up towards the front of the plant. The leaves of Jerusalem artichoke are rather long, usually ranging anywhere from six to nine inches in length, and probably about two and a half to three inches in width. Whenever you feel them, you're going to notice that they're very coarse, again, feeling like sandpaper. If I try to move my thumb, you can actually see that it's actually kind of gripping my thumb. If you try to do this on the plant, you're going to notice your thumb will actually kind of stick to it because of the way these hairs are orientated. The top of the leaf is very dark green like we can see here. And this one looks like it has a little bit of powdery sort of mildew situation going on, which is rather common this time of year. But if we flip the leaf over, we're going to notice that it is actually a lot lighter and green, somewhat almost silvery in appearance. If we take a really close look at the base of the leaf, we're going to notice three main veins running vertically down the actual leaf itself. And this is another important factor of this plant, separating it from a few other of our native sunflowers that we have. Sorry about that, wind kind of blew it out of the way. But this is another one of the main discerning factors of this plant from some of the other sunflowers that we have. The Jerusalem artichoke can actually get quite large. Like I said earlier, it's one of our largest sunflowers. And if you look at the one right here in the center, I'm going to pan the camera up. 
and then there we can see the top of this plant. The Jerusalem artichoke can get anywhere from five to 10 feet in height. So keep in mind, this can be an extremely tall plant, which is another interesting thing about it because it makes it easy to spot, especially if you're driving down the road or if you're out hiking and you see a really tall sunflower looking plant with yellow flowers, usually around August through October, it's most likely going to be a Jerusalem artichoke. However, I should note that not all of them are going to be at that height. As we can see this one here, it is laying kind of on the ground sideways, but it looks like it's only about four feet in height. And I have seen them be as short as three feet before. For whatever reason that plant was growing so short, I'm not sure but there is a little bit of variation in the height from this plant. So that's how you guys can identify the Jerusalem artichoke. I thank all of you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If you want to learn more about wild edibles or medicinal plants, please make sure to subscribe.